Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Gold Rush. Okay, let's ask him to uh, book room 11. Sorry, fella, I just rented that room. The man didn't say how long he'd be staying. Oh, my willikers. I nearly forgot. I got a message to give that beggar staying in room 11. Would you deliver it for me? Sure. Great, hang on a second. Here's the message. Thanks, I owe you one. You reply, no problem. Ah, uh, you can trust me. Absolutely. Look, message. The message is written on a folded piece of paper with only one word visible on the outside. Confidential. Open message. I guess it won't let me, uh... Knock on door. Knock, knock, knock. Sounds like someone's coming to the door. Yeah, what do you want? Give message. The beggar, somewhat surprised that you are bringing him a message, takes it and begins to read it. That's a beggar? That doesn't look like a beggar. The man's face drops in some kind of emotion. He looks up from the message and says, I gotta go. You're in my way, man. So I think I only have a little bit of time to do this. This is a clean and tidy hotel room. It has everything a normal hotel room has and a fireplace. Ooh, a fireplace. Nice. Let's see. So, there was the, uh, um, but you never know when the man might return. It's a, uh, look, fireplace. It's a brick fireplace with a decorative cannon on the mantle. Hey, remember the, uh, cannon on, uh, um, the, uh, on the tombstone? Turn wheel. You're not close enough. The cannon wheel is difficult to turn. But as you continue to turn the wheel, you realize that an ingeniously designed mechanism is raising the back wall of the fireplace. Climb through. Go through. Okay. Enter fireplace. You might get covered with soot, but you climb into the fireplace. Woohoo! So I think I'm pretty much safe in this room. Um, look, table. There's something on the table in the middle of the room. It looks like a handwritten and slightly yellowed note. A magnet. And that's about it. Take magnet. Get the horseshoe-shaped magnet off the table. Take note. Grab the note. Eager to see what it might say. Read note. Read note. Dear Jared, thanks for coming. If you're looking for gold, then find me. Make sure no one follows you. Your brother, Jake. Alias James Wilson Marshall. Okay. So let me see if there's anything else that I need. Uh, this looks kind of suspicious. Look. You are now in the elusive room 12. You see that a wall has been built where the door used to be, creating a small closet. There is also a table, a fireplace, and birdcage. Oh, I guess that would be why I couldn't go into room 12 before. Look, floor. You notice uh, some string lying on the f hardwood floor. Take string. You snatch the string off the dusty floor. Look, cage. There's a bird cage in the corner of the room. Um, don't 
think that there's much else I need to... Oh, there's a bird outside the window. Unlatch window. You unlatch the window. Open window. You open the window. Okay, is the bird going to come back or did I screw it up? Uh, I hope I didn't screw it up. Eh, I might have screwed it up. Did I save it? No. Okay. Book room 11. Do 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 do. Yeah, so the reason why I couldn't go in there is because it was turned into a closet. Let's give him the message again. Turn wheel. Enter fireplace. There we go. Unlatch window. Unlatch window, I said. Open window. Take string. Let's get all this stuff that I missed before. Or, that I... No, not that I missed before, but... Take magnet. Take note. Read note. Okay. Let's go ahead and save the game pretty quickly. Come on, bird. Where are you, bird? Look, bird. The bird has a small capsule attached to its leg. Hmm. So, this was uh, clearly uh, um, Jake's room. He uh, obviously must have sent this bird back to the room so that we can send him a message, and uh, he had put in his uh, original letter to um, send him something so that he would know it was us. So, put photo in capsule. Carefully roll up the fi family photo and put it in the capsule. Um, I guess we just wait for the bird to leave. And then we'll have to wait for it to come back. Come on, bird. Come on, bird. Come on back. Let's quickly save it. Come on, birdie. Hello, birdie. Let's look around the uh, room a little bit. Maybe I can take a nap. Sleep on bed. You'll never strike it rich if you do that. Yes, because clearly going to sleep means that you'll never strike it rich. Ever. So remember, everyone, if you're out there in the real world and you want to get rich, never go to sleep. Ever. The goblins will get you. Yes, you've never heard of plus because I just dropped my mouse on my keyboard. That's why. You're the 
door in the room in room 11 slam shut ooh that's probably not good you know what let's um now let's not quite save over that let's uh save over this one let's see what happens enter fireplace Drat, you've picked a lousy time to visit this room. The renter is here, and man, is he steaming. Things are not looking good. Oodlum! Burglar! Thief! But you're a beggar. Get the law up here and take him away. No, no, I don't want to die. Turn wheel. Ah, good. That's... He, the, the guy in there didn't notice it. There, there is the bird. Look, bird. The bird has a small capsule attached to its leg. Take capsule. You stick your hands in the cage and the bird pecks the living daylights out of it. Just ain't worth it. Okay, what about open capsule? Did I? Yeah, no, I... Better not have screwed that up. Okay. Now, let me restore it. Just to be on the safe side. Look, bird. Without getting your hand pecked up too badly, you get the aerogram out of the capsule. I don't know how I'm supposed to know that there's an aerogram in there, but uh, okay. As stubborn as our friend may be, just leave it to him and he'll lead you to me. Uh, I think he's talking about the uh, mule, because that's the uh, stubborn mule. Climb through window. That's what we got to do next. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it. Save it under temp again. Since that guy is back, it's a tight fit, but you managed to crawl through the window. Oh, this is going to end badly, isn't it? Let's shimmy this way. Oh! -ho -ho! Ledge walking can be hazardous! That guy just whacked me. Oh! There we go. Well, that was handy. Just had to get by that guy. Okay, let's head back downstairs. Alright, uh, let's uh, take Mule. Actually, which way do we want to go? Let's see. Okay, I guess we'll just go this way a little bit. I'm supposed to follow him at some point, so... Uh, I guess we'll... Uh, 
wait and see what happens at that point. Come on, mule. Are you gonna lead me to where? Uh, gonna lead me to the promised land? Actually, um, let's go ahead and end the episode here. We'll pick it up in the next episode as we uh, follow the mule. See you next time, everyone.